Takata or perluminescent are some of the words kids may spell in a spelling bee. Haiti Clotter shows us how one student is buzzing her way to the state competition. Mom is excited about everything. Really? Yeah, she, she was crazy about this. <laughs> When Juliana Tollefson was in the second grade, she participated in her first spelling bee. Fast forward to today, she's an eighth grader at Bemidji Middle School that will compete in the multi-regional spelling bee on February 21st in Fergus Falls. Like in elementary school, they have all the spelling bees and there's kind of like always in them. Tollefson was recognized as a spectacular winner and came in first place at her school before advancing to the regional spelling bee. It makes it like easier to learn, I guess. I get a better vocabulary. Instead of just reading words from a list, reading is one of the most effective ways Juliana prepares for a competition. The ongoing support Tollefson receives from friends, teachers, and family, including her mother, Tara Scarp, make a difference. Uh, my mom and dad will help me study. Like my family, they'll read off some words that I can spell. I'm excited for her. It's something that we're kind of passionate about literacy and being able to um, <laughs> communicate effectively. You can say being a part of the Spelling Bee is a family tradition. Even Scarp participated in some when she was in school. Scarp also works at the high school in special education and wants Juliana to succeed. Knowing how to spell, whether it be written um, or oral, she'll be able to communicate effectively in the future. The winner of the multi-regional state spelling bee will then head to Washington, D.C. for the national competition. In Bemidji, Haiti Clotter, Lakeland News. If you're wondering if Juliana has a favorite word, she does, and it's bungalow. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.